Hello everyone, this is Nancy. Welcome back to our live tutorial as usual for every day. Hope everyone have a great Friday. So hope you have a really busy Friday and busy tomorrow, Saturday. Today we are going to do some really cool nails. I am going to do four nails and, and this time, hi, hi Creepy, XX Creepy. Um, this time we are going, hi Nancy, hi, Lo hi Lorna, Lorna, hi JSN Nails, Manic Cave Creation, hello, Anisha, how are you, Tiger Lady? Uh, thank you so much everyone for tuning in today. We are going to do like a four nails today and we will um, do some a theme for it instead of just simple nails as usual we're doing I have four nails so I want to do some theme and I just want to show you quick before we get started I just got my nails done every time like everyone would like to see I'm doing my nails but when every time I do my nails I have thank you so much uh, Derek Souls Hey, pretty Nuna, just want to show you all ladies first before I start because then everyone keep asking. It's kind of all different metals stuff. And today I'm going to show you one of the way doing uh, the look for my nails. Yesterday we done a lot. We did quite of like six different designs. So if you missed my live video last night, please head over to YouTube. Or Facebook you able to view whole entire uh, tutorials um, all the entire tutorials and today we're gonna do really cool four different design for the nail so let's get started so then we can get four nails done and I am going to do the chromes and weaver gels on this one and also the um, metal metallics designs so let's go in and i am going to put the no wipe top coat the glitz no wipe top coat and can i get the glitz no wipe top coat i have it right here in my hand and apply that on all entire nails evenly and key it for 15 seconds 15 seconds please I have the And I have is right here, I think is Luxurious Violet. So I'm gonna do in like a pink theme for spring times. And let's have fun with that. Oh, I'm excited, looks good. If you have a big sponge, you can. If not, then you can use this for um, Makeup, my thing is eyeshadow applicator. And I'm going to tap it first. And then I'm just fading it on the top, like towards the cuticle. There's so many different ways for you to do the chrome ombre. Like sometimes I have the big sponge and I just doing it right on the free edges first. And then really gently touch um, buffing on the top to get it really nice effects of the ombre so everybody have a different way just one of the way I would like to share maybe a little bit more because we're gonna do some um, 
We were jails on this one. For a little bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you can't, but because later we're gonna put the weaver gels on, so great. I turn on the other side, which just doesn't have any pigment, and then I rub it. Great, I think I'm good. Close that, and I think it's luxurious. Um, Violets, Ruxurious, I think it's a color. Um, Weaver Jowls, I'm using a pure white, which is, I have it using it regulars with me. And I have this all for cute toots um, pick that I am going to use it. Give me one second. You see me doing a lot of different videos, so this time we are going to do just uh, fun designs. Simple to use, it's not take so much time. Oh. All right, so let's do, hey Instagram, thank you so much for tuning in. So pick up the um, Weaver Gel. If you want to do it thin and you pick up little and then let it really thin, I don't want it too thick. Uh, I want the strings to be thin look. But however, if you want to be a little bit thicker, you can. Just soft look for um, spring times. Great. If I'm happy with this, just pop this guys in the lamp for about 60 seconds. All right. And if you want to do different colors, you want to do black color, silver, gold, it's, really, it's up to you. Just really cool to do that and it's really quick. You get a few uh, stripes in like just a second. Hope everyone have a great Friday. I'm so excited to see everyone because today I have four different nails I am going to show with you in within an hour. So then Instagram won't cut it off. So if you miss anything earlier, just tune in. Welcome in. If you're first time tuning in with Glitz Assessing and such, welcome in to our uh, live stream tutorial. If you have any question during the time of live video, don't hesitate to ask and then I will go through over the questions and um, answer everything, okay? So I am going to using like tiny mini little triangle. Uh, I just have the stuff there. Great, so I am going to add some, uh, you mean like have um, the look like my nails? Tribal? Is that right? Tribal art. Tribal art. Condensed glue gel. If you are having a hard time to apply the crystal placements and your crystal always popping off or you are nervous to doing it, you don't know what is going to get the right one, um, it's going to be a great, uh, I think, oh, right here. I have it right down here. This condensed glue gel is going to be your bestie for crystal placements. And they are so, it is so thick density. So each time you're using it, you don't need a whole lot uh, unless you're doing a 3D uh, crystal placement. And you might feel it thick than normal, which is great because it holds your 3D, your fat, flat back, your bigger stone, as well as the chains, charms, and all any accessory like big centerpiece. So I'm blending it nicely. It stay nicely and uh, oh, it stick on my hand. Wipe off the brush. No white top coat on the top. This is a great technique. The three method that the it will keep not only your flat back, 
also a 3D chain and charm stay in one place. This is purpose I apply a floating a techniques of no white top coat on. So then when you finish, the uh, crystal is gonna suck right into a condensed glue gel and a top coat. And you don't have to worry about anything is um, popping up. You know what? It's great because I, I want to put the cracks here for um, Easter. But also there are so many cute ones that have it in, like my nails. You can do it as well. I just want something that's like, it's really, this one is really cute for Easter. I want to put in here. I know it's way too early, but I every time we do we do a different theme and we did uh St. Patty, we did Maddie Grass. This weekend we're busy for Maddie Grass. People are going to New Orleans and uh or in Dowin South and Pensacola and Mobiles is a lot of going on. Tomorrow they have pray, tonight they have a pray at as well. So it's really fun down here. So I'm gonna put this one, but this time we're doing it for on like have a theme of Easter or however you think. Um and can I get some SS3? Did you take my SS3 away? Okay. I think sorry. I have it here and he was organized again. And so if you're mm -hmm. happy with this, you don't have to do anything else. But I would like to add just some um, space with SS4 to just bring the nails out just a little bit. But you know, if you just want it simple and you don't want anything, I think it looks great. Looks super cute. I really, I really like it. And then if you're happy with this, you'll pop in the lamp for about 60 seconds. Great. I'm adjusting it as well. Great. I like that. I like I like it from a chrome to weaver gel to um, the little metal art town at. And also I have a different metal art, really cool one though. I want to show you this. I'm so freaking in love with this. I did have this and look at the owl. I didn't have this on my, I didn't have this because I only have um, 10 fingernails. Like each of them I have it different, I think. I don't know if I have the same one. They're all different. Some. So, thank you so much, Mary Kay Creation. Hey, ES now. Hello, I'm watching in Alabama. Great. Are you going to the pray? Hi, Ang Henry. Hi, Maria. How are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Hi, Lily. Great, so now I am gonna double secure this using the precision glue. It's one of the great Crystal Bestie uh, closer cap, please. Is the other end is a brush. So if you want to apply the little, tiny, tiny little crystals, you can using a brush as well. But on this side, I am going to check any edges of the crystal and charms the metal arts right here and I feel scratchy I'm gonna squeeze just a little bit each time you use just don't use a lot just a little bit go a long way and if you feel like you are get a lot of them out then you can just using a twin tip brush on the side of the detail brush and just blend them all out and they should be completely fine uh, can I get the brush, please? Pull it out. This one. Thank you. 
and just blend it like the same I'm blending it right now so then that's why when you are popping the lamb they are curing it they, when it finished it doesn't look lumpy bumpy at all it just make it looks nice and flawless hopefully uh, Facebook can you seeing it Facebook good okay hope everyone have a great day hey miss Corina how are you thanks so much for tuning in great pop in the lamp for about 60 seconds and this cute nails are completely done well let's move on to the next one I'm so excited because we have so many fun nails that we are going to share with you um, can you cap on make sure you don't do this red cap away because this will keep it nice and uh, from clocking and spilling let me open this so just in case you need to use it for the smaller beads or smaller crystals you can use that a brush on the other end close the cap so let's move on to the cute next one um, this one we are going to do is um, we'll do a chanfer foil and flowers uh, nails and then after that we'll do a fusion ink I can't wait to share with you a fusion ink though so let's do some chanfer foil I'm actually going to touch it but I am going to using a premium's I hold chanfer foils this one will cure in 30 seconds hi Onisha, how are you? Thin coat. Let's put it out here. Just thin coat. Somehow it's getting a little hair here. I'll we'll get it off. And pop in the lamp for about 30 seconds. I think I get a little fur in there because I think my um, sleeve touching it earlier. Great. We'll do a different flowers. Yesterday we did the other design. Today we did this one yesterday. So stunning. Yesterday's design, I really, really like it. Which is this. Look, it looks like an antique look. So if you miss this live video, you can watch it over again on Facebook or on YouTube 30 seconds mm -hmm. 30 second. oh, I'm so excited this one is so adorable mm -hmm. this, this one might blend in it though I'm finding I'm trying to find the right angle for that I think I got it but I really like this flower though should I do this one it looks light but I really like that. I want to use it. I don't care. If you care, you get a different spot. Because I really like that. It's so cute. So I'm decided to get this whole flowers on this nails. All the nails that I did, it's um, I did painted two coat of the gel colors. Kind of a light blush pink oh my goodness I'm so in love with this so adorable great I'm gonna put some crystal on it and you can see that how completely this whole piece is chamfer completely super easy and this chamfer foil is the bomb all right so I'm gonna put some crystal on but just show you like yesterday we did everybody loves it 
um, the elastic strip. So if you want uh, to put it, let me see if I can do, maybe I should do it right in the, hmm, should I do right in the middle? You can make it a frame like yesterday. Maybe today I can do is right in the middle. You think right in the middle it looks good too? Oh, right on the bottom. Let's see. Give it a try, and if you don't like it, then don't try it the way I'm doing it, okay? Just give it a try. If you don't like it, then don't do it. But you like it, then... Like this. I don't know. I feel if I put it here, it looks like a nail got chopped off. But it's not really, because... I love this strip because it's really um, it's so elastic, so flexible. You cut it, you just rip it up. You don't like it, then don't try like me, because I think I just try to make it see how it turned out it looks not bad at all i didn't want to do on the top of course i want to do a frame like yesterday but then it's going to be become redundant we can do something else different you know great and i'm going to do some crystal on this one not bad at all it looks crooked you think i don't think so all right so let using condensed glue gels is this condensed glue gel? This mm -hmm. one? Uh, can you change? I think the cap is leaking. You know? Swap, swap the cap for me. Right there, the next cap. I'm gonna just do a little bit of crystal. But I'm gonna do whole nails because I don't know where I'm gonna put my crystal between the roses. So one really thin layer of it if you are at the salon then the class not sure or you are not sure if you want too much or not just really blend a whole layer of it it's like a thin layer then you can apply crystal everywhere without worry about oh you didn't put the condensed glue gels on so it kept like ready I usually do that all the time with the clients no white top coat on the top so then by the time you finish your nails, it's completely done. You don't have to worry about trying to put the top coat um, on the top of the crystal because you try, try not to. And actually, you shouldn't do it because then they will destroy your shies and the cut of your crystals. So I'm going to floating the no white top coat on the top of the condensed glue gel, which is I haven't Kia condensed glue gel yet. And then I can put some crystal on it. Maybe just a little bit of yellow. You don't need a whole lot. Hope everyone have a great Friday. I know, so I'm gonna do some of them. You do some gold, and then you can do any colors. You can do AB, you can do pink, you can do yellow, you can do green. You are in charge of it. You are an artist, you can do however you would like. I'm sharing with you the concept to combine together so then they don't look hold on this is not right this is this silver you know be honest I like don't even want any crystal on it. 
but I will be putting on. But don't try it like me at home. Oh, you might like it. I don't know. I just, I just really like the flowers. I didn't want to mess it up because the flowers look so perfect in that spot. But I could be wrong because some of you like it. The crystal I have it on there. So it's so much fun. I can't wait to show you the next one as well. Let's see. Great. If I if you like it like that, then you're ready to go. Just pop in a lamp for about 60 seconds. And then we're using precision glue if it needed. Should I put it in the middle? Hi Jocelyn. Great, so I'm popping the lamp for about 60 seconds. Move on the side. Great. This is a look for the nails before that. And then we have a second one. I'm waiting for the other one to be ready and see if I need any uh, precision glue on that. In the meantime, I am going to In the meantime, I'm going to put the matte top coat on one of these nails. And then we're doing a fusion inks. Um, let's do some fusion ink before we go back to Chan for Four. I want to share with some cool Chan for Four designs for you. This doesn't take so much time, but it's so amazing. It turned out great. I love to share with all beginners and all of our nail tech who is, you think a lot of different designs is really, really difficult, but actually it's really simple to you. It's just a different concept that we're doing against our precision glue. This is such a bestie. I'm really like, I have so many of different smaller crystal I have to using a precision glue on that so then that's why every time I see any catch you know scratchy or scratchy edges I feel it in it feels so good nice it's texture you feel it because the crystal on the top but it doesn't catch anything or scratch me or getting my hair on or so I'm gonna checking it and feel any scratchy spot then I'm gonna squeeze just a little bit just a little bit you don't need a lot because you don't want to completely flood your crystals as it's going to destroy the, si the size and the sparkle and the cut of it. So, all right. So, I'm going to pop in the lamp for about 60 seconds. Hey, Jess. How are you? Spamalix, how are you, sweetie? Thanks so much for tuning in. Happy Friday. Today, we did really cool. We did like uh, this one. It's the nails if you're just tuning in. Don't worry. You can able to view it on uh uh, story time after we done and when we're waiting for that I am going to using um, matte top coat this matte top coat I have it right here and I want to make this one completely matte both of them I want to do both of them make them matte uh, fusion ink. Oh no, we did. I just need only one. I only need one of this. This is, I have that for getting to mine. We'll do fusion ink, so I need the matte top coat. Apply the matte and let it here for 60 seconds on this one. Matte top coat. I'm going to pick it out before I'm popping the lamb. I think it's my, on my long sleeve, it's just getting all this. But, 
We've got that control now. Do you ever have that like happened? Like I do have that when a client's like in between and then they're trying to get their nails and their hands out and then touching their phone and they're touching whole and tie their sweater. And oh my goodness, it's a nightmare. Like all the fur sticking on the nails. Like you can't do anything but just cleaning up. And this is so cute. It's so simple. It takes just a few minutes to create really a great look. I feel spring now. I don't know if you're ready, but I'm ready. I don't deal with cold. Thank you so much, Spa Molex. The top coat is amazing. It's so slick and smooth and stay shiny for the next few weeks. Thank you so much for the awesome uh, feedback and recommendation. And this one, I can't wait. This one, we're going to do some cool. I have some pieces of it out here, maybe. Maybe I should do, no, hold on. I should get the different, can I get this box? The other box. Mm -hmm. I need the pink. So that's not one. Yeah, I need the pink. Just saw it right here. This little piece of pinks. I'm going to get this cute pinks out. Maybe I should do that, that pink, that's pink. So then I can... Um, can you cut that piece for me because it's going to make it look really um, it's the same theme trend for us you know Let's move this guys out here so then they won't get in our way so I am going to use Fusion Ink Magentics so this let me test see how it is I think I want to use that and see how it turned out. It looks like it looks purple. So then, if you don't want that theme, you can use it at that. Passionate. But should I do the purple? Sure, give it a check. Or should I do the pink? Yeah. Which one would you like to see? You can do both. I can do both. That's a good idea. Okay, let's do both. Can't choose, then do both. Ah. Oh. Why? Accident. Tap this, and then you can do however you would like to. Oh, I love this. Passionate, perfect for springtime. Let it set. Still wet right now. So we're gonna go into magentics like a purple colors. Hey, Sarah, how are you, sweetie? Hello. Let's do... Hi, Randy. Hi, Pretty Nuna. Do both. Yes. That's why I said I can't choose which one, so I'm going to do both. <laughs> My as well. Too hard to chew. Great. Now we're gonna do using instead of how to struggling with brushes or with solutions, I am going to using crystal clear. It's this is a freaking awesome solution that is completely it's the right ratio so then you don't even need any other brush if you just have one colors with the crystal clear hi vicky hi sweetie how are you happy friday ladies sarah vicky i'm so excited and happy that me vicky and sarah we got an opportunity to share with you in the upcoming class so see they start filling up it's so so excited um <laughs> Irene, thank you so much, sweetie. Look, this one. I was like really want to save it for everyone to seeing it, but I said, oh my god, crap! If I see it here and I'm like just chit chat and talk and just like forget about doing my nails, then you um, you're gonna kill me. <laughs> Thanks so much, Shannon. 
All right, so crystal clear. I'm with, okay, so promises next time I should because you know what? If I take my nails down, I don't get it right on. I am a little bit OCD, so I have a problem. So I have to have it on. I'm so sorry, but next time we'll save it for you. So crystal clear. This is freaking cool, a uh, right ratio uh, solution. And I have a piece of paper, please. So back to the words that I'm just sharing it, um, the information from the class in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Such a great opportunity we got to uh, share with you and host the class uh, on behalf of the Chizo Nail Arts Company and Glitz. So also besides learning all the techniques for salons, we are also have a training for master uh, brand ambassador for Glitz accessories and such. We are branching out and looking for new and more uh, ambitious nail technicians who is like love what you're doing. Of course, we're all and really passionate and you want to really want to help and share and teach with to the other nail tech for beginner or whoever like long time veterans or want to learn some new techniques, you know, so then uh, Remember to check out the class. The information is in the bio. The link it linked to the website and have full descriptions of the class and information. Also, if you have like even a lot of questions that you still don't really like see what you looking for, always call us at two zero six seven seven one five zero eight six to ask any question you needed it. Okay. So I am. Look at that, I'm creating the veins right there. So you can do different veins, like a different directions. Um, they all looks great as well. So I'm gonna just use a little bit. Less is more, you don't want to do too much to wash off your um, fusion inks. Basically, it's still like, you know, alcohol base. So we have is really interesting in uh, a class in Ann Arbor. You learn so much from a salon style to crystal placement, all different nail art, and master brand ambassador training. I start seeing my veins really nice. I like that. But everybody have a different way to do a uh, fusioning, and then plus two, um, when the client's bringing your picture to you, make sure you assist them and consult them. Every single uh, fusions in or marble look is doesn't looks identical alike, so they won't be freak out or stressed when they don't see the same look. because they are not. Try to make my veins really sharp. You can just see that I just using it just basically from my crystal clear brush. Mm. Looks really good. Oh no, the XOXO here, let me show you. I didn't, you didn't see it because the, uh, um, I think, I think the, here, I move it up here. I have it down here with me. But every time before I dip back into my bottles, crystal clear, I usually tap my brush and cleanse my brush in a piece of paper like this. So therefore, it's, real limits of chamfer or contaminating back into my bottles. As you can see, I wipe it off. If you're happy with this, you um, can let go and put the veins foils on. This one, do you want to see the veins foil or do you want to see the veins gel painting? We did uh, quite a lot of gel painting lately. So if you want to see more, let me know. I love the foil too. The foil is really well looked. 
time I can. There you go. Happy with this. Just one more. You feel too much of crystal clear and tap in a piece of paper first. Great. I'm happy with this. Yep, to keep it from getting all messed up. Yes, because you don't want to have like pink, purple, uh, green, obsidian, white. It's all going to be mixed in this. So then it's going to be affect that look. So, so you're seeing it. Hey, Jesse, how are you? Oh my God, hi, Jessica. How are you? Yeah, absolutely, don't excel, excel. You are very welcome. Okay, so let's do some um, chanfer foil. Uh, I have my little palettes right here. I'm gonna do some chanfer foil veins here. Just put one drop of I have a one drop of uh, Premium's Iho Chan for Foy and my simply my twin tip brush. So if you have a gel painting, uh, last time I did gel painting, last few time I did gel painting, you can do a gel painting using a golden touch. I did this. I love this. It looks so beautiful. Also, Chan for Foy veins it looks super cute as well. Just a little. Pick it up. And just a little bit if you want your um if you want your rain to be thick you can do it thick but if you want your vein to be smaller you can do just like a smaller however you would like to draw your veins I think it's gonna come out either way it's gonna look cute anyway great pop in the lamp for about 60 uh, 30 seconds, I'm sorry. Okay. I just draw a few veins. Maybe here. That's it. No, you didn't miss the butterfly design, sweetie. You just missed my nail design. Just kidding. I just got my nails done. Jessica, no, you didn't. We didn't do a butterflies, but we did this too, sweetie. So if you miss it, you can always view it um, back with the story time. When we end with the live video, you can watch it on the story time. Really simple nails that I just did recreate look on my nails in a different color base. Chrome, uh, weaver gels, and metal metallics art. Chan for Foy with elastic strips and crystal placement. That's the two nails we did. This one is super cute. I'm using this one. And just place completely. And press it firmly. So then it can chamfer all to the veins and stuff. Great, you ready? Super cute, right? You can do with gels or you can do with the chamfer foil. And only I need to do is put the no wipe top coat back on. So then it stay nice and shiny. If you want matte look, your client's request for the matte, then do a matte look. No wipe top good. Um, can I get the other? Right here, no. Uh, over the nails and then we cure it for 60 seconds and this nail are come this is completely done
We did fun today. We was like gonna go like a theme of four colors for springtime. This will hope you will get some ideas for that spring look. And we have one more nails. Um, this is one more nails. I am going to using. Um, I just accidentally hit my stuff in here, but I am going to using my premiums I Ho Chan for Foy, and I am going to upline them all and tie the nails. And I will, sorry, I just hit one of my foil in here, but it's okay, we're gonna use them anyway. So, here for 30 seconds. Can't leave the messes. Did I put it down too low? Hold on. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I moved the nails up a little bit smarmily. Yes, done. Sorry about that. So Which one is finished? Okay, 36. This one, our nails are completely done. So beautiful. We did like super cute theme for spring look. I can't wait for the spring coming. I have little piece of this. I'll get it cut from one of the solids collection. Just give me hold that collection, please. And there's so many different color. I can't wait to share all of them, but I get one piece out from that. Just let you know. Crinkle it. Just a little bit. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can hold piece, but I just want a little hint of it. I don't want a whole piece. Um, you're using it too much. That's it. I don't want too much. If you want more, you can always fold it and like bigger crease so then you can have more effects on I think great I just want that's a hint of it look at that so I now is we're gonna go into using our condensed glue gels let do some cool crystal uh, placements on this one I'm so excited hope everyone have a great uh, uh, can you focus? Okay, great. Blend them really nicely because this one is um, a thick density. I am going to float the no white top coat on to the top of my condensed glue gel. Try to float on the top. Don't pull the condensed glue gels because then you might accidentally contaminating them so it's really cool though either you are I'm gonna use this one super cute super super cute Do that cute um what is that metal metal metallic I love this they're so cute so here come back to crystal placement um, what is the best way to do the crystal placement and make it easy and how you are not messing them up 
the closer the crystal you place together, the better, the longer they're gonna last. So if you place them, unless you place them a different, like my nails, like spread it out as the SS4 small right here, they're totally fine. But if you want to do like a placement like um, the jewelry, so it mean if the closer you get, um, the closer, the tighter the crystal together, the longer it's gonna last, and you see it creates an amazing look for you. And then I'm gonna add some beads on it. If you want more crystals on, you can absolutely bling this nail completely. But I want to share some uh, cute looks for springtime coming so you get an idea to um, show it with your clients and get ready for a spring. Really good. If you want more, you can add more. But I'm gonna do one more right here. And I'm gonna do one more right here. Great. And I think I might do one more frame. I couldn't find a gold one in my front. But I'm gonna use silver. It's okay, we can mix silver and gold together. It looks great. Like have a combination of the gold and silver. I can't wait to see you sharing it and um, show it off. Don't forget to tag us at Glitz Accessory and such so then we can feature your beautiful nails. missing one how oh, we're not getting it or oh, too far not. oh I get it but then it was there but I didn't get to see it because I'm too far away great if I'm happy with this I'm pop this in a lamp for about 60 seconds and we're using some um, precision glue Let me adjusting just a little bit because I'm away from a, a nail so I don't get to see it. I'm just adjusting uh, the crystal right here. Just one more. Give me one second, I'm gonna answer your question. Great. I think it looks good. And hold on. Can I get a piece of paper? Please, thank you. Tip and trick before you pop in. Wipe it up on the edges so then that way is remove excess uh, glue gels in top coat so then when you get your nails out from the um, LED light, it stay nice and precise. Great, can you put it, be careful please? So then it won't look good. All right. Great. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in tonight. We did good. We did four nails today, everyone. So awesome. So now we're trying to switch it a little bit and we'll change it to a theme for you. So at least you have four design if you need to do the design completely using our inspiration. You can have like whole entire spring theme. Um, St. Patrick uh, theme or any theme so then you won't feel like you only have one nail to look want to do like at least four look let me see let me answer the question on um, his Instagram his Facebook where did you, uh, Moria where did you get the stone and the triangle tray um, Moria you can get it from ours uh, official website at glitzaccessoryandsuch.com 
and I would I will um tell I will send the link right here for you. Great. Charity, no, just start to learn how to do my own nails and practice on my own daughter when I can. That's awesome. That's awesome, Charity. Okay, do you draw anything like that? Uh, you mean drawing, like drawing, drawing, uh, flowers and stuff like that? I do some of them. I'm going to use Precision Glow. We have a lot of, like, have drawing simple roses simple really easy it's pre pretty easy for beginners I have uh, quite several of the live video and the video also up on YouTube Jessica you can review this or if you see some of the stuff you can send it to us if we can able to do that tutorial we will absolutely do it I am checking every edges of the crystal right here is be careful because I don't want to squeeze too much of precision glue that gonna might flood your my crystal so I'm really be careful in checking it with the frame and metals it's okay for you to get over it because it doesn't affect those but if you have uh, your crystal I would be a little bit cautious because you don't want them to cover on the top of your crystal it take away from the shine so now after I squeeze just enough amount of my precision glue, I am going to try to clean it up and make it really nice and flawless, much as possible. Or else, after you cure it under the LED light, it's going to be um, lumpy, bumpy. So we don't want that. So it's great. I just blend them out. Like the same one we do makeup, which we're blending, blending, blending to make it look good. All right, I'm gonna pop in the lamp for about 60 seconds and this nail are completely done. But if after the clients are like here, when you make sure that you tell them to rock the fingers back and forth so then they can cure underneath of the metals, a metallic or on the um, size of any uh, crystals. So then that way it's gonna keep the designs last so much longer. Tonight we did good, everyone. Thank you so much for the amazing support and uh, tuning in. Thanks, Mirandi. Which color collection of the nail stud did you using? Um, what collection? The collection is is um. Uh, which collection nail stud did you using? This one, you mean? Uh, this is metal, this metal tribal tri tri art. Let me let me get it right for you. Is if you go to glitz accessory and such, and then you searching okay, on. Really? It's gonna be under the section of metallic art. You're gonna see a lot of different cool, stunning, like metallic art. So it is called a metallic tribal art mega mix. You mean this one? This one is metal metallic art. So then, when you go into sections of um, metal art, you will see this one. Uh, also, you will see the tribals the one i have it on my nails i freaking love this i'm never I'm like not falling in love with this because sometimes if you see it my nails are lots of going on like a lot of chromes like so much going on this is make it freaking balance the designs out because in in earlier i was thinking of like oh should i put all the bling on and it too much bling on i love which is i love it but then I will hit it because it doesn't go well together because this have so much going on underneath with just the chrome and then so I was like oh I love this because you know sometimes I wang whole entire set like this and I still have my crystal which is like my mini tiny little triangle the crystal here so it kind of a, a, just kind of a bling it up but it's not freaking crazy so I love that how I got to share with you because then it's just like look like an art, you know, it's not like just pie all the crystal on. 
Thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. And if you have any question, always can call us 206-771-5086. Have a great night tonight. I will definitely will see you tomorrow. Sorry, Instagram, I'll be back in a just a second. I will definitely gonna see you tomorrow with another live tutorial. Remember to check out the um class in Ann Arbor's coming in March is so a uh, freaking exciting and there's three different classes going on it's gonna be a liquid can powders um, that's the first day and then the second day the first day is be liquid and powders shapes salon styles um, basic dipping powder basic liquid and powders uh, advanced liquid and powders advanced dipping powders and also the art and the designs for liquid and powder and as well as the dipping uh, that's a great class if anyone looking for a great want to take your skill of shaping uh, for salon style into the next level if you want to make it like so simple easy quick fast in the salon style and um, the second days will be a crystal placement. So you will learn with us from a basic crystal placement that if you are really confused, you don't know how to pair them together, how it's gonna look good together, we're gonna walk you through all of that and have a hands-on training with you on that second day. Also, we'll do all learning, all the art, um, from a fusioning to gel painting to 4D gels and all combination of all the art together to make it beautiful like say if this nails beautiful like this usually at the salon the clients usually the ticket for the clients usually about at least fifteen dollars per nails on the top of the new set their clients are getting a service so with like chan for foy here's one technique and then crystal placement is second technique but this one, you have a lot of cute thing. You have the chromes underneath it, one technique, and crystal placement at the second technique. And weaver gel at the third technique. So this nail is like you can do a design with between 10 to $15 at least per nails. Like the same thing with this um, Chan for Foy. If you have a client that just do a simple Chan for Foy, is it $5 per nail? But if they are getting a crystal and some you know designs on it it's gonna be ten dollars per nails so same thing with fusioning a different salon some salon chuck ten dollars some salon chuck twelve dollars or fifteen dollars it really depends on the salon location so we're gonna learn all of that and also the bonus we're gonna walk you through like how you can able to share and write do a right hashtags for your salon for your business for your location of your salon business that's how people will look it up on social media or online or google they was like pop up with your name of your salon and your beautiful work so we're gonna walk you through all of that as well and then the third day will be a awesome opportunity for a master brand ambassador so if you are really you know like teachable coachable and you are so passionate in this and you can you you have an opportunity you can participate in going and travel with us and teaching class with us and also travel with trip shows and do all different shows throughout the years with us and also the class training for and helping others students to be successful and teaching the class like we gonna helping you right now then um, just don't forget to check out the class that's just we only host master brand ambassador once a year also throughout the years we have the class um, liquid and powder and crystal placement and nail arts uh, throughout the year but master brand ambassador is only once a year so then we can focus and really really pass on so much techniques and knowledge and everything so then we can able to be um, have you to be part of our team so once again on behalf of the company Glyss Accessory and such and whole entire team who is behind the scene which is we have a lot of team Vicky Jensen she's go live weekly as well to sharing with the techniques she's awesome over 30 years of experience and then uh, Sarah and she's going live every week as well and she's have amazing she's so artistic and have a great idea for so many different crystal placement nail art shapes and all the technique 
and also Brad Holden. He's also going live to share with you know beginners how to do just simple all different cool nails. So we're so excited. We are so grateful for every single of you. And also we do have a lot of our uh, influencer ambassador out there. Uh, which is they are like Hollywood Couture's beauty and then we have uh, your claw studio Which is Hilda and we have Ray baby is Rachel. So they're all different states. So we thanks to them and really really awesome So thank you so much uh, The XOXO the class cost uh, 750 it mean that if you take a if you take if you oh if you take three days it, each class it costs a hundred dollars a class which is you can take the the day one day two no, and then three day days. three day three you can't take by itself you have to take the day two and day three together in order to be uh qualified for master so brand ambassador master. but if you do three class is a uh, um master pass you will get you only pay for a seven hundred and fifty dollars so which is you save hundred and fifty dollars already plus that all the master pass will receive over five hundred dollars products from a chisel nail art company and glitz accessory and such but every single class if you take every single class you're also receiving a kit as well so you are going to have a great time no matter what or whatever class you take if you can take only one class and you want to improve your liquid and powders and you want to take a skill to the next level do that as well if you want to do the second class for crystal placements and you just want to learn crystal placement and nail art and also you can do that as well but if you want to do like a further than that and want to take all three classes and be part of our team we love to have you. So all of you, like every single class or any class that you would like to take, that would be a great. And it's amazing what I got to share with you today, but then it's gonna be even amazing that I got to help you a hands-on training to show you all different cool techniques. So thank you so much everyone for tuning in. We're just hitting like right the end of it. But please, yes, thank you so much, Dr. XOXO. We're hosting once a year and then we have it in, um, we're hosting it in Michigan and Auburn because that is a great location for everyone. It's like say from surrounds like four to six hours can drive there or if you're flying to Michigan you can get a really a great affordable uh, airplane ticket to there for a really really affordable price so then without picking the place or show the location that's hard for you all to fly in there that's gonna cost a lot so that's why that's what take us a long time to get the program to decide that a good location for everyone to fly into and then also we're looking for a great a lot of brand ambassador to so many different states so we have like so many different states that we would like to expand in like indiana's um so many states for instance kentucky um new york a lot of different states that we still need more master brand ambassador so if you are really announced lovers and really passionate and would like to really expand it further join our team so would love to have you. Hey, Brittany, how are you? You are very welcome, Fosse. I hope you're enjoying it. Love, love you guys. Thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you so much, DoXOXO. But thank you so much. If you are having, if you have your um, nail technician who are doing your nails, um, you can share that with them. That would be awesome. Thank you so much, Brittany. Hey, how are you? So we just finished up four beautiful looks. I love to have you today and really enjoying your live videos. And I would definitely see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. So we'll have an awesome a new content for you. So every time you tune in, it's going to be a new content for you. So if everyone who is down south going out for Mardi Gras, have fun and be safe. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Messy, look at it, my nails. I did my nails too, I know. It looks so cute. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Brittany. Bye, Messi. Hey, thank you so much. We're definitely going to see you tomorrow. Have a good Friday night, okay? I love you all. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>